Remove the 16 screws to take off the back panel. Next, move to the mainboard. It's located on the left side. Disconnect the stock bed thermistor connector and cut the zip tie. Then move to the SSR on the right side. Remove the SSR cover. Loosen the three screws holding the stock bed heater wires and unscrew the grounding wire located right below them. Cut the zip ties and pull out the stock bed cable. The next step is to remove the cable chain by unscrewing three screws. Now, remove the stock bed. Take off the side covers and use an Allen key to remove the four screws holding the bed in place. Finally, lift the stock bed off. Remove the build sheet, flip the bed upside down, open the cable chain, and pull out the bed cable. Then, unscrew all four bed knobs to remove the stock bed completely. Use an Allen key to hold the screw from one side while unscrewing the knobs by hand. After removing the stock bed, put the metal spacers and springs back in place, aligning them with the bed mounting holes. Insert the screws into the graphite bed holes, position the bed and tighten the knobs, but do not over tighten. The bed must rest on the springs, not the metal standoffs. Pass the bed cable through the cable chain and close it. Now you can attach the build sheet alignment corners or print and attach them later. Make sure the cable is relaxed, it must not be too tight, otherwise it could pull the bed to one side and affect flatness. Also ensure that the bed tray is not touching the grounding wire. Next, install the bed and use the four screws to secure it with an Allen key. Pass the bed cable through the hole and reattach the cable chain with three screws. Reinstall the bedside panels. Route the cable along its path and secure it with a zip tie. Connect the thermistor and the grounding wire. For 120 volt systems. Connect the yellow wire to the end slot on the SSR. Stack the two white wires together and connect them to the 110 B slot. For 230 volt systems, cut and isolate the yellow wire. It won't be needed.
Connect one of the white wires to the end slot and the other to the 220B slot on the SSR. After wiring, reinstall the SSR cover. Now you can run your first bed mesh. Before doing so, run the Z-Tilt Adjust Macro. On the first mesh, you'll notice that the bed isn't perfectly level. You can use any leveling method you prefer, but here's the one I used for this printer. Open the printer.cfg file and find the bed mesh section. Comment out the stock mesh settings, copy them, and modify the mesh to use a smaller area and fewer probing points. Look at the front edge of the bed. Using the two front bed knobs, align the graphite bed plate with the metal bed tray so that they are parallel. The front left and front right corners should be at the same height relative to the tray. Next, adjust the rear corners so they match the front ones. Level the rear left corner to match the front left and the rear right to match the front right. Then run the Z tilt adjust command to make the left and right sides of the bed level. Run a quick mesh to check height differences between the front and rear corners. Adjust as needed, then repeat Z tilt adjust and mesh until the surface looks flat. Once the bed is properly leveled, you can revert the bed mesh settings back to the stock values. Then run a full bed size mesh and fine tune the bed knobs if needed. Small adjustments can further improve the results. Now we need to make some changes to the printer.cfg file. Open it and find the heater bed section. Copy the custom thermistor section from our website and paste it right above the heater bed section. Then go to the heater bed section and update the sensor type value. After that, click Save and Restart. If you are using 115 to 120 volts, you may want to add a line in the heater bed section to limit the maximum heater power. This will reduce the current drawn by the heater and help prevent momentary power spikes that could interfere with other electronic devices or trip the circuit breaker. The final step is to run a heater calibration. You can find a macro called Bed PID in the macros list. Run it. Once it's complete, you're all set to enjoy printing.